I think there's two large issues here. One of them is why do we always send so much money to <laughs> <Yeah>. foreign countries? <laughs> why? You. Why are we <laughs> still you. doing this? It <laughs> leads to issues that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Why? It, it, every president has done it. I mean, even Trump still sent of money course. overseas. Yes. Just stop sending money overseas, and there will probably be a lot less issues. Yeah, and, I'm, and you know, I'm sure we've all seen the videos. There are just thousands of missiles being launched at Israel right now um, on behalf of Hamas, thanks to them. You know, <laughs> it's, I guess missiles are selling like hotcakes over there because they just <laughs> they just keep on coming. Um, and luckily, you know, thanks to the Iron Dome and other, you know, measures that Israel has, they've been able to stop most of these attacks. But nevertheless, uh, Hamas has remained relentless. And, you know, looking into, like, why exactly, why are these attacks, why is it, why is it, why are they so prevalent and so intense at this moment in time specifically? Well, a little over a month ago, um, Biden reversed um, one of Trump's one of Trump's orders when he was president was he took away a lot of our funding to Palestine. Mm -hmm. Biden reinstated that, sending seventy five million dollars in economic aid to territories controlled by the Palestinian Authority and by Hamas. And you know he was warned. You know senators, um, you know Ru Rubio, Cruz, a bunch of other Republicans. They all warned Biden, hey. This probably isn't a very good idea to send a bunch of money to territories controlled by terrorist organizations. Right. But, you know, Biden sent it anyway because, you know, fair is fair. And we have to, <laughs> you know, if we're going to help Israel, we have to also help the like terrorists besides. that are trying to, you know, genocide all of the Jews in Israel, too. Yeah. So you can't, <laughs> you, can't <have> both. <laughs> you can't pick a favorite there, I guess. <laughs> and so, you know, what a lot of people are saying now is, you know, that that aid has led to this increase mm. of attacks and not just the aid, but also, you know, Biden has shown he's going to be much more lenient on Palestine, on Hamas. And so right now they are testing him. They're like, hey, <laughs> we're going to give it everything we can. Stop us. I yeah. dare you. And it doesn't look like he's going to. And so, you know, what do you think this guy what what do you think this says about what the Biden administration's approach to Israel is going to be? Um, you know, <laughs> what do you think about it? And, you know, for me personally, you know, it reminds me a lot about kind of Obama's plan with the Iran nuclear deal. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, he basically just sent them a boatload of cash. And he's like, yeah, well, once you send them cash, then they'll get all friendly and they'll be your allies. But really, you know, they just redirected that to terrorism. Mm -hmm just like what is happening right now with Hamas. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, you know, whether or not you can say that this money was directly used, I mean, of course not. Yeah, certainly you yeah. can't sit here yes. and say the money that Joe Biden or Obama sent to X country was immediately diverted to terrorism. That's not right. the case. But money is money in the pockets of, an, of a normalized terrorist organization in a foreign government or entity, right? And so at the end of the day, their purse is larger and they have more money to spend on these bombs. And, and yes. it really just it, it's a little bit more of the same when it comes to this Biden administration. We've seen time and again that in this first couple of months, they've been tested by all of our regional opponents, uh, both in the Middle East, um, in East Asia. All these folks, they know, and we had, we've said this on the right, you know, the entirety of the campaign last year, yeah. that Joe Biden is a weakling. For all intents yeah. and purposes, this guy is a weakling. He is not willing to challenge these folks. I mean, it's the same as when Obama went on his global apology tour, is what Fox yeah. News used to call it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. And it's the exact same thing. Brett Kershaw, one of our other reporters, has written a story pretty yes. recently about the idea that, you know, our constant conversation in uh, in Washington about critical race theory, about yeah. the United States being a, a broken country that has committed all these atrocities, it may feel nice to atone politically for these things, but at the end of the day, it's a showing of weakness on the yeah. world stage where another country says, look, you've admitted all these faults. You are a terrible country, and we should be able to, to handle our matters in our region the way we want. And all these countries, they hide what they believe yeah. in and what they've done. They don't admit to it. So they, they stand on this false pedestal that we now do not get because we've decided we want to atone for all of these past mistakes. And, and we've just weakened our standing on the world stage and decided that we're just going to start throwing money to every humanitarian cause, yeah. no matter who it hurts on the other end. And rhetorically, you know, leaders in Palestine have used that to their yes, advantage. And absolutely. so has ab the CCP, you yeah. know, in China. They have absolutely used that to their advantage, just basically telling us, well, you know, straighten up your own house before you tell us we yes. can't genocide an entire race of people. So 
I think there's two large issues here. One of them is why do we always send so much money to <laughs> yeah. foreign countries? Thank you. Why? Why are we <laughs> still you. doing this? It leads to issues <laughs> that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Why? It, it, every president has done it. I mean, even Trump still sent of money course. overseas. Yes. Just stop sending money overseas and there will probably be a lot less issues. <laughs>